4FH, and this is Nick, N0NCQ, and welcome to hamradio.world. So Nick, what is this? Good morning, N0NCQ. My name is Nick from Lawrenceville, Georgia. This is an old-fashioned teletype machine used by almost everybody in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s. The military, uh, radio stations, uh, associated press uh, to communicate from point A to point B. Um, everything is based on the 5-bit Bordot code, which you can see here on our little, on the back side of the uh, display. Let me open up the machine to see, so you can see the magic. And I'm, we are receiving right now uh, IPTY news over the uh, internet. The magic behind the machine is, if you would like to step back a little bit over here, there's the magic, all the circuitry, the connecting. This is the line control unit, the power supply, the demodulator board, a timeout board, and everything runs over a little computer called the Raspberry Pi. So basically, you've mixed old with new. Pardon me? So basically, you've mixed old with new. Yes. Uh, Steve, my mentor, uh, N0, no, N4TTY, um, he calls it the marriage between old and new technology. And this here is my telegram station, also used for communication between point A and point B. You prepare a tape on this machine, it's called a tape perforator. Uh, got a funny nickname, the Iron Horse. You prepare the tape, put it in the transmitter, and let me turn it on so you can see what's going on. And the message comes out on a printer in a different town. It is. It's, it's fascinating. Um, I started this hobby maybe three years ago. I was fascinated by the old uh, technology, by mechanics. Um, maybe it is because I don't know a whole lot about electronics. <laughs> and there's Steve, my mentor, and uh, if you swing over the camera, he will explain about... Steve, take over, about texting. So now I'm with Steve, N4TTY. So Steve, what's going on here? Well, Faith Hannah, uh, my, again, my name is Steve, N4TTY, and this is a demonstration that I call a marriage of old and new technology. Uh, obviously, the teletype machine is old technology, and be behind Faith Hannah over there is a Raspberry Pi that's really doing the work on this. And we're using it to send text messages to anybody you can send a text message on your phone. This is the original text machine. Okay, but obviously we're now using the internet to make it work. But uh, I think Grace here is gonna send a message to somebody uh, and then when they get that text message, they're gonna reply and it will actually print back out here on this teletype machine. Nick and I are both members of a group around the, around the world really called the Green Keys Group. And it comes by its names by the color of the keys on these keyboards, okay? And we're all trying to save these machines, which we think are absolutely fantastic, from going to uh, landfills and metal crushers and keeping them where young folks that have never seen something mechanical uh, perform some wonders. And I really find that the, the younger folks are really excited about them because they've never seen anything mechanical. And they, then they find out that they were designed by hand. So Grace, why don't you send that message? Did it not wake up? Oh, there it goes. <laughs> so we're going to have to hit it one more time. It, for some reason or other, it, when it gets finished, then type the S again. That's, that's good. Make sure it's the S, S. There we go. Now the phone number. Remember about the zero, if there's a zero in the number. I 
I guess you just want to do a short one for our demo. That it? Don't forget carriage return. And if you're finished, another one. There you go. And done. It's been sent. We got something. Let's see if it'll receive just a simple smiley. Where's it? There is no simple smiley. Can't include emojis because this thing won't print them. <laughs> Why does that say hi like that? I don't know. I don't know how huh? to do that. Um, I'll just do one like this. Oh, oh, oh that so kind. Yeah, one we will make with it the characters, yeah. With a nose. It doesn't have to have a nose. Now, sometimes there's a slight delay in how fast the message comes back because of the way the system works. Uh, but as soon as it starts up, you may hear some bells. So, there you go. That's, there was a bell, and then it'll do some more bells. <laughs> now, we're giving credit to the guy who wrote the software that runs this gentleman out in California. Etheric Message Machine Company. John Nagel's his name. He developed it. I'm utilizing it, so I still acknowledge him here. It prints a few lines. He actually runs a telegraph office set up during steampunk conventions out on the West Coast where he has people come in, write, fill out a, a telegram form. They'll send the message to somebody's text phone, text number, and if somebody sends one back, he'll have somebody walk around the room saying message four with their phone number and have the message cut off on these cut lines so they can deliver the message to the, whoever the message intended for. These machines are running at 60 words a minute, so obviously a lot, lot slower than your average uh, uh, machine today or your average printer today or laser printers. And that the baud rate is 45.5 baud. Very, very slow. And there you go. And we'll tear that off in just a second for Grace to take home with her. It worked. It worked. How about that? Is that it? I think so. 73. 73, y'all. <laughs>